Hello, my name is Jerry. I'm a mortgage agent with Invis for the past 10 years. You can find me at whyrentinottawa.com. And our partner here is Tom. And I'm Tom Wittek with uh, Your Choice Realty. And you can find more info about me at justsellinghomes.ca. And today we have a guest. It is Dale. I'm with Ottawa Builders Inc. .ca. And do you want to give us information about what you do? Our specific business is that we are general contractors and I've been invited by, uh, by Jerry and Thomas to discuss the idea of, for one small part of the construction business, the Coach Home initiative that's by the City of Ottawa. And what is a Coach Home? Well, basically what it is, is it's the ability for a person to have a secondary dwelling at their principal residence uh -huh. and utilize it, whether it's for personal use, whether it's for a rental income, whether it's for a small office, for a, for to, to, uh, to work e either internally or, or, or for somebody else that's, uh, that's able to take it from them. It's an opportunity for a return on investment unlike anything else that's available in the residential industry. And Thomas, being a real estate person, he, he has clients that are, are, are interested in getting information on this. All the information is covered very well on the City of Ottawa uh, website regarding coach houses. But we, as general contractors, we can pick up the initiative from, from the point of where an individual starts to actually plan the idea of, okay, it, does my house qualify? Is it going to be able to be constructed to the way I want to do it? Can I build it to the level of standard that I want to finish it? That what I, when I'm done with the product, it's going to be something that I'm going to be proud of and that I'm going to be able to utilize. That's where we come in. There, there's, uh, there's, a, there's a definite uh, shortage of uh, such homes. And I can see uh, with, my, with, many, uh, with many clients, that, for example, if there's elder that uh, need accommodation, the coach home idea would be great for them uh, as an in-law suite instead of, uh, I don't know, putting this person in a basement or something. You have a separate dwelling which is above ground, uh, and so that's that's one of the one of, one of the aspects. The other aspect is obviously investment. Uh, you, you, you have your principal residence and you're not sharing physical space with your renters. You can actually build a coach home and get uh, rent, rental income from, from this. Right? Exactly, exactly. And that's the initiative that is so important to get out for people to understand. You, you're, you, it used to be years ago there was a granny suite. Exactly. Well, a granny suite had a, have a, had a caveat attached to it that you had to take it back out when granny was gone. Yeah. Nobody can afford that. That was, that was a kind of a thing where the city was trying to help people but, yeah. but, but yeah. wasn't successful. Now the city understands, and this initiative came from out as far as Vancouver, yeah. where people need affordable housing. Affordability is the key. Correct. Yes. And the affordability in conjunction with the usage of it, that you can benefit yourself by having it create an income for you, Today, with the mortgage companies, you understand it, how that when a mortgage company suggests we're gonna lend money to somebody, they wanna see how are they gonna pay for it or how's it coming back to them? Well, today, unlike ever before, a person can take some money and they can invest it into their own property. Not only do they have it that it becomes an increased asset that they, that they hold, but they can generate income that's much greater than anything they can do by investing their money into bonds or stocks or anything like that. Yeah. So, so it's uh, good. Tell us what, what, is in a, what is inside a coach home? You have all these identical rooms like a regular home? Absolutely. What, what it is is it's small living quarters. And uh, you what know, would be the square footage. Well, at, at the minimum, the minimum that's allowed is approximately 500 square feet. Right. The maximum is 975. Okay. But that's so below thousand. Oh yeah. But but all that being said, those are the things that as as, as you get involved with it, and if you're an individual that's interested in doing something like this, if you contact us, we can help you understand. This is what you can do with your specific property. We've, uh, I, I personally have been involved with, with the initiative since the beginning, and it's something that is of real value, that it's just starting to catch on, more and more people understand it. Real estate's starting to understand it That's better, right. mortgage companies are understanding the difficulties in some cases putting mortgage together, and for that reason, we're coming together, we can help you. So you design a Sorry. home just like a new build? Absolutely. You choose. Absolutely. You do it like a new build, and you do it to the standard of what you are living in. 
Yeah. You're not you're not bringing in as we discussed earlier this idea of a tiny home idea. Tiny tiny homes are are southern US and we're trailers on wheels. That's it. Can't, Ottawa will not accept that. It has to be built under code. It has to be to the standards of, of living standards that are here in Ottawa. And that's a good thing. You're going to be building... It has to be insulated for the winter. It has to be <laughs> up to code. Nobody wants to live in anything yeah. that's not livable. But rather than go up 20 floors into a condo that's 600 square feet, if you can have it beside your existing house that, you, that your tenant can drive to it in, in your driveway that you're not using, that's where their value is. And that's where they can command a good rental income for it. The person that's taking it sees the quality of 2018 construction. It's win-win for everybody. So this coach, coach home idea pretty much started in Ottawa a few years back. Do you have any numbers on how many people are actually using this? Or, or, or the need that's going to be created? And, and obviously there's going to be more need as the generation gets older, right? Like that, I mean, affordability issues, all these issues. Correct. What, what's happening is it's really in its infant stage right now. And like I say, the, the, the stats that we can look at in, in Ottawa yep. come basically from what happened in Vancouver. And, they, and, and the, 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 uh, the appreciation of it and the acceptability of it has been accepted in Vancouver, where, where rates are certainly high for income yeah, and, and certainly high for real estate. But the same thing holds. Even though Ottawa is a very conservative city, there's still the same principles are, 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 are there. You, your infrastructure is not an increased cost for the city. Yep. The revenue derived from the taxes is a benefit to the city. And the other thing that happens is that, that, that this personal income yeah. for people that are reaching retirement, it's just a win-win for everybody. Yeah, we, we have to look at the taxation, how they actually tax this thing, but that's, I guess, topic that's for another. Out, yeah. Absolutely, yes. No, and, and, and it is something. It's, it's new. But it's important that people understand it. It's important that people ask the questions. You call me at ottawabuildersinc.ca. I'm available. I can talk to you. I can explain to you what, what benefits there are to it. And there's just too much to put into a short video. Exactly. Sure. If, you don't, if you don't rent it out, we can always use it for a doghouse because I know we're always in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. I sent my wife flowers today. <laughs> I haven't done it, but I will. Okay. I have to do it. <laughs> yeah. Thank hey. you for being a guest today. Uh, well, we thank really you. appreciate Dale. And you know, how are they finding you again? Uh, they, uh, Dale at ottawabuildersinc.ca, and uh, I'm available through there. You, you're certainly welcome to call me as well, 613 um, 613- 223-1883. I'm available. For consultations. I'm, uh, consultations or questions, anything like that. We're, we're here to help people build what they want. And I'm Tom Wittek. Uh, you can find more info at justsellinghomes.ca. I am Ottawa Real Estate uh, salesperson. And I'm a mortgage agent with YRentsInOttawa.com, uh, Inmiss Mortgage Brokerage. Thank you, and uh, have yourself a great well, day. Well, thanks for having me, guys. Bye-bye.